breathing from the belly, Tondin, a great rolling ball. This is my actually most popular blog post. I'm going to read it now. A friend recently asked me to help clarify the Tondin, also known as Lower Dantian. This is a big subject. I've written about it before in other blog posts. I'll try to briefly convey a sense of what it is like to feel the Tondin, develop the Tondin in sitting in everyday life, and what it is like when the Tondin matures. The Tondin is an energy field in the abdomen. It is a major focus in traditional Rinzai Zen as a way to deeply embody the energy and wisdom of Buddhism and to fully integrate that wisdom into life. But one need not be a Zen student to gain great benefit from getting a sense of it. In the tradition I was taught in Zazen, seated meditation, we are first instructed to do Sissokan. Sissokan is concentration on the breath, often counting the exhalations, breathing in and out of the belly, which fills the belly with energy. Sissokan includes extending the exhalation out completely and letting go of the preconceived ideas and stored up memories in this process. Over time, Sissokan is a technique to help develop the tandan, as well as an excellent practice to enter samadhi. So most of us hear the instruction to extend our breath out completely and we go sit and we push our, with our breath as far as we can and we force it. The practice is actually about becoming the sitting more and more, becoming the activity. It is about focus, but we mistakenly think it is about force. So we sit there and try to develop Tandon Ki with our force instead of the energy naturally growing and settling into our belly. The forcing of pressure on the belly makes the energy rise up and create more tension in our system. This is completely normal and it happens to basically everyone at first. However, as we sit with Sissokan longer, it becomes clear that this type of force does not work. We can't create harmony with our body-mind by putting in a type of anxious force. And we look around and see the experienced people who are really beautiful sitters. Their zazen is soaring and reminiscent of an eagle in flight. And they are incredibly relaxed, sublimely relaxed. And we wonder how that is possible. We realize it was, must not be force. Feeling the tandin is elusive at first. In the beginning, one just tries to imagine something down there a couple of centimeters below the navel and extending three-dimensionally through to the low back. Sometimes at least, at first, it is easier to feel the tandem in the low back, in the koshi, Japanese, than in the front, on, the front on the belly. It begins often as a little kind of flutter, a little heat in the general area below the navel. Later, it feels like a taut ball of energy. Over time, with much exploration on the cushion in daily life, we begin to orient our lives more and more to moving from the lower back and belly. When reaching up, Reaching for a cup, we stay rooted, relaxed in our lower body. Our upper body is floating above. We reach out, and it is from our hand, and it is if our hand is reaching out from the belly, from the tendon, settling into gravity, our key slowly becomes more, less fixed in our upper body, our head, and more and more settled in the lower body. Our thoughts, too, begin to settle as the key settles into this ball of energy in our tendon. Sitting, we see that as we unify with our breathing in the present moment, our breath naturally begins to extend on its own. And we see that if we are not fully in our bodies, not really there, our ki will rise up. But with time, through Sissokan, as our ki settles and grows, it begins to permeate our whole body. A kind of glowing ball begins to grow in our belly and the energy begins to fill our entire body. Doing long retreats, we will be going along, concentrating on our tannin. And by day five, it sometimes feels like the tannin has disappeared. But in fact, it has grown and expanded as the key has grown, such as the dance and play of getting to know the tannin. When the key begins to grow, it can be a tricky time. 
we have to continually be aware of the Tandon for a while as this energy makes us full and taut. If we take our awareness off of it at this time, the cent other centers of energy, like the volatile emotional heart energy, will become unstable. The Tandon acts to settle the key, to bring stability. For me during this time, as I worked with settling this key in my body, for about two years, I was very emotional, very volatile. It was like I was walking around the middle of open heart surgery, very raw. In this tricky time, it is not about focusing on the tandem in spite of all other sensations going on in the body. This is a common misconception. Rather, to keep one's awareness on the tandem while allowing all sensations into our awareness, opening up all of our senses. So it's not about pinning the awareness into one spot in our abdomen and closing down or becoming small. Rather, with an open awareness to keep sensing everything and allowing it to open. For instance, we all have huge heart energy. In order for our tantan to really open up, we have to allow our heart energy to fully express. If we don't, the energy in our bodies will be dull and without passion, without life. Over time, the stable awareness in our tandem becomes second nature. Walking around, we notice our breath is always extending, always doing sasokan. Our ki is always rooted in our tandem. And as other emotions come up, often intense, they are not so fiery, not so wild, as the tandem is there all the time settling the system. Later, the key in our body bodies begins to extend more and more around us as the barrier between self and other is dissolved. And so our awareness also extends, or as Omori Sogen Roshi put it, Zen is to transcend life and death, all dualism to realize that the entire universe is the true human body. Through the discipline of mind and body and oneness, Miyamoto Musashi called it Iwo no Mi, body of a huge boulder going through life, rolling and turning like a huge boulder. Yagu Seki uh, Shusai named in um, Marobashi no Michi, a bridge around like a ball being in accord with the myriad changes of life. Besides this actual realization, there is nothing else. Zen without the accompanying physical experience is nothing but empty discussion. Martial ways without truly realizing the mind is nothing but beastly behavior. We agree to undertake all of this as the essence of our training. So Tandon is a technique and orientation to unify body-mind to deeply embody this work. As the tandem matures, often after some kind of breakthrough, it is no longer just something to focus on in such a concentrated way. It is as if our awareness integrates the tandem and all actions spring from that center. Our awareness extends and we feel the context of each situation as a way to harmonize with everything. Just like the huge rolling ball, this is what it's actually like to be centered. Again, we feel the tandem as a continual contextual framing of our awareness. The awareness is not a static thing. It is continually shifting. Over time, we can begin to read others' intentions through this awareness, read situations very quickly, not be easily thrown around by every situation. We see the flowers and our awareness reaches them as our tandem, and we meld with them. As we are walking the great rolling energetic boulders, constantly framing our awareness in a fresh way. Slowly, little by little, keeping our awareness just below the navel and on the lower back, we will begin to transform from the inside out, where there was once a little flutter of light, a little heat in our belly, gradually it becomes a great unifying way of being. This is a never-ending process. As I write here, thanks for reading, comments and questions, welcome. Please share this if it was helpful. Thank you.